So everybody always wants to know, if my implant ruptures, what's the silicone going to do? So today we're going to do a really fun experiment. I'm going to slice a bunch of implants. We're actually going to compare brands. And we're going to squeeze out the silicone and watch what happens. So we have a mentor implant. Uh, all of these are totally intact implants. And we're going to, for the first time, slice it. A Sientra implant. These are standard silicone implants. And an Inspira implant. We're going to slice it. Mentor implant is the least cohesive of these, so as we squeeze it, what happens? It still comes back within the material. And as we get more and more cohesive, here's a Sientra implant, which is actually more cohesive than either of those other two. Squeeze it out, and back it comes. And an Inspire implant, it's somewhere about as cohesive as the mentor implant. Squeeze it out, and back it comes. Oh, that was fun. Now we're gonna test with gummy bear implants or teardrop-shaped implants, how they respond to being cut in half and what the silicone does. So here's a Sientra implant. I'm gonna take a big cut through this all the way through, see if we can't even cut through that entire shell here. All right, that's worse than you would ever get from a tear in an implant just naturally in the body. Here's a mentor implant, I'm going to do the same thing. And a Natrell implant, I'm do the same thing. So here's all three of them. We've got a big old cut through the silicone and cut into the material, Let's see if we can slice it. So now what happens, here's the Sientra implant. We'll take the shell almost off if we can. And there's the material. And there we are. Here's the mentor implant. We even got a draft in here. Here's the mentor implant. a little less cohesive feeling. I don't think you can probably see it on the video, but it's really similar. And, you know, very much like that Sientra implant really just kind of comes back to shape, even though I've done all I can to destroy that thing. And then the Natrell, this is the most cohesive of the three. Same thing. Really try to destroy this thing, really tear at it, really pull at it, squeeze it out, do everything we can. And there we are. It holds the same shape, essentially, with a big tear in it. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. These implants really do hold their shape, even if they've been injured. So now I want to test stability of these implants once they've been cut. So we've cut implants of different types. We've got Sientra Teardrop, Sientra Round, Mentor Teardrop, Mentor Round, Allergan Teardrop, Allergan Round. I've cut all these in half. The middle two I've warmed up in the microwave just to see what uh, body temperature um, changes things, and it didn't actually change it all that much. So the Sientra implant, teardrop, pretty stable. Holds its shape pretty well, even with gravity. The Sientra round, less so. Doesn't really hold its shape after it's been split. The Mentor, warmed up in the microwave, shaped implant, holds its shape really well. The Mentor round, not so well. I'd say that's quite a bit worse than even the Sientra. The Allergan or Natrell teardrop, pretty well. And the Inspire Round, not so well. So there's quite a difference between cohesive implants and less cohesive implants and their ability to hold their shape, which is why teardrop or gummy bear implants have to be made out of a more cohesive, firmer, stiffer silicone.